In the void surrounding a long dead star, a trio of planets known by names that seem to have been torn from the pages of a horror novel are Poltergeist, Phobator and Dragor. These exoplanets orbit perilously close to a nearby pulsar, which itself was born from the fiery cataclysm of a supernova that should have destroyed all three planets in the process. Somehow though, these planets have endured, so welcome and join me the Cosmic Skipper as we ask how such worlds have seemingly have come back from their own destruction and why exoplanets like them are often called zombie worlds. Poltergeist, Phobator and Dragor represent a significant milestone in the history of astronomy. That's because in the early 1990s these three planets were the first exoplanets discovered beyond our solar system. Located approximately 2,300 light years from Earth in the constellation Virgo, these planets orbit a pulsar known as B1257 plus 12. Pulsars are pulsating stars that emit with remarkable regularity pulses of electromagnetic radiation from their magnetic poles. In the case of B1257 plus 12, this pulse, which is measured as the spin rate of the dead star, is an astonishingly fast 6.22 milliseconds. It was this spin rate that two scientists, Dr. Alexander Walschen and Dr. Dale Frail, were studying in the early 1990s when they noticed some irregularities. These irregularities showed up as variations in the timing of the pulsar spin rate, which should normally be extremely regular and metronomic in nature. The fact it varied and fluctuated alerted the scientists to gravitational influences on the pulsar and the possibility of orbiting planets. Further analysis of the data led to the groundbreaking and historical discovery of the first planets beyond our solar system. However, these newfound planets presented scientists with a paradox. Positioned at distances of 0.19, 0.36 and 0.47 astronomical units from the pulsar, Dragor, Poltergeist and Phobator had orbits that appeared too close to it. According to conventional wisdom, their existence at such orbital distances was deemed implausible. This is because pulsars are born from supernovas of the progenitor star, which would have released a colossal amount of energy in the form of radiation and high energy particles. The energy and resulting shock waves from such an explosion would have been so powerful that it would have completely obliterated any object that was within the immediate vicinity of the exploding star, including planets. Considering these planets would have been orbiting a star eight times more massive than our Sun in an orbit that is close to, if not closer than Mercury is to our Sun, would put them well within a region of space where the supernova's destructive forces were most intense. In the aftermath of a supernova explosion, it seems unlikely then for them to have survived such a cataclysmic event. And yet, the fact these planets do exist suggests there may be factors or mechanisms at play that have allowed them to seemingly come back from the dead. In the realm of astronomy, zombie worlds are exoplanets that defy conventional expectations, as they have seemingly weathered catastrophic events that should have led to their obliteration. These intriguing worlds are often found in close orbits around the remnants of deceased stars, particularly pulsars, which have undergone the violent death throes of a supernova explosion. Dragor, Poltergeist and Phobator stand as notable examples of zombie worlds. They endure in a harrowing environment marked by intense radiation, gravitational forces that cause the planets to stretch and compress, while surface features are bombarded daily by fierce cosmic winds emanating from the pulsar. Yet a perplexing question arises. How have these worlds endured when science indicates that under normal circumstances they should have succumbed to the devastating forces of a supernova? One among several speculative theories aimed at unravelling this enigma 
suggests that these planets did not, in fact, survive the cataclysmic supernova event of the progenitor star. Instead, they were reborn from the ashes of planets that perished in the wake of the explosion. During the supernova, a substantial quantity of material would have been ejected into space at high velocities, but crucially, some material would have remained within the gravitational influence of the resulting pulsar. This remaining material over time would gradually have coalesced into a protoplanetary disk, a primordial birthplace for new worlds. Through the process of accretion within this disk, the zombie worlds of Poltergeist, Phobator and Dragor would emerge into the challenging and otherworldly environment in which they now orbit. They may have challenged our understanding of planetary science, but these zombie worlds, by enduring what they have, are worthy of their place in history as the first exoplanets we discovered.